Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to talk about how to use a limiter in Cakewalk's Sonar X1 digital audio workstation. These principles can be applied to most all uh, limiters that you'll encounter in the world of uh, digital audio, and uh, so they should transfer over pretty easily to just about any uh, limiter that you might encounter. Uh, however, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use, do this in uh, Sonar X1. So I have a project open here, and when I play back this drum loop that I've got, I'm going to notice that my sound is clipping a little bit. And uh, so let's go ahead and play this back and take a look. So in addition to being a relatively noisy drum loop, we can see that uh, we're peaking a little bit right here um, in the audio section. And um, that is obviously not an optimal thing. We want no peaking, if at all possible, when we are uh, mixing our audio. So a way that we can get around this without having to turn the volume of this track down and thereby possibly lose it in the mix is to add a limiter. So to add a limiter, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the plus symbol near the FX bin right here, and I'm going to go to audio effects, I'll go to cakewalk, and I'm going to scroll down and select limiter. So this is going to open up the cakewalk limiter. And as you can see, this is a fairly basic plugin. It's got an output gain and it has a limiter threshold. Now the output gain is going to control, obviously, how much of the audio output uh, we are going to either uh, decrease or increase. The limiter threshold is going to control the point where the uh, limiter will kick in and begin to stop the audio from going above the threshold limit that we set. So anything that happens below this limiter threshold won't be affected, but as soon as the audio hits the threshold and goes above it, the limiter is going to kick in and it's going to start pushing the audio level down and therefore limiting the overall volume. So if I play this back right now, the default limiter setting is negative 40 decibels, and that's probably way too much. The sound's probably going to be pretty squashed, but let's go ahead and listen to it. So we can hear that that's pretty squashed. We're not peaking, which is good, but that sound is, is way too squashed to really sound good at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start playing back my audio, and I'm going to adjust my limiter threshold as my audio plays back. And I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to look for the point at which I come to nearly peaking on my overall output, but I don't peak. So I'm going to watch my level meters right here as I bring my limiter threshold up. So let's play back and I'll change my limiter threshold. All right, so we can see I hit the peak point somewhere probably around 21, negative 21 decibels. So I'm going to cut back just a little bit to about 22 and I'll play this back and I'll see if I start to peak. So I'll reset my peak meters here and I'll play this back and let's see if I hit my, uh, my red zone. Okay, so there we go. I'm not peaking now, um, but I've managed to keep a good volume level. Uh, on my track here without having to uh, and without having to sacrifice that volume level I've managed to keep this uh, channel and this track from peaking and therefore having the possibility of creating noise in my mix or becoming overbearing to other instruments or uh, other sounds in my mix. These are very basic uh, principles of limiting and limiting is a step before compression and we will talk about compression in another lesson. Uh, compression is a bit more complex when it comes to audio processing, but limiting is a good, quick, easy way to be able to uh, save yourself some noise and uh, other unsightly things that can happen in your mix without having to sacrifice your overall mix quality. As always, I hope that this has been useful to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me, brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Obedia Tutor. And until next time, thanks and happy music making to you.